So hi, it's me, Johnny from the future. I am actually editing the video that you are watching right now. And I've just noticed that it is a very, very long video. So I have decided to just split the video in two parts. And so the first part will be like a comparison between these two laptops, but into the hardware side. And the second part will be a comparison between like software side and some benchmark and stuff like that. And also I took the chance to just record this video. So I will give you just an example of this MacBook webcam. And also I am recording with the internal microphone of this Mac. And by the way, I hope you will enjoy these two videos. So if you do that, just leave a like down below before the video starts. And that's it for now. So I will leave you now to the video. So let's roll the intro. Peace. <laughs> So, hey guys, welcome to my new video. It's always me, Johnny, and today we're gonna see a little comparison between the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip and the LG Gram. This is the 16 inches model and pretty much it is uh, maxed out. So we got all the nice components in here and this right here, it is the standard MacBook Pro with pretty much the basic stuff in it. So let's start talking about the most important thing between these two laptops. And it is the price, of course, because the most important thing when you buy a thing, especially one of these high-tech devices, it is the price. And these are both used laptop. So I bought it both on the Amazon warehouse and they both were like in pretty much very good condition. So they are pretty much new actually. And for the LG Gram, I paid like 1300 euros. So it is a little bit high for a price of this uh, kind of laptop, but it is really a premium laptop. So you're gonna see after why it is costing like that. And actually the, the, full, pri the full price, it is around like 1500 euros, if I'm not wrong, or maybe 1600. And actually the MacBook Pro, it is pretty much in the same condition. So they are both pretty new. They don't have any scratches. They just look like new and they got both like very few cycle of battery charging. So they are pretty much new, as I said. And the MacBook Pro comes at around like 1150 euros. So just about 150 euros less than the LG Gram. Then talking about the specs of these two laptops, we got the LG Gram with the i7, the new 11 gen i7 from Intel. So the best that you can find for this Ultrabook. And these are not the performance series with the with an H at the end. If you know what I'm talking about, these are still low power CPUs just to fit in these small cases of this Ultrabook, we can say. And we got 16 gigabytes of RAM. They are very, very fast RAM. And actually, we got, of course, integrated GPU. It is the Intel XE graphics, so the new graphics from Intel. And then we have uh, 512 gigabytes of internal storage. So a pretty much good size SSD. Then, of course, as I said before, the MacBook Pro, it is the standard model. So it is equipped with the M1 chip, of course. And actually, it does have only 8 gigabytes of unified RAM right here and 256 gigabytes of internal storage. But let's talk about the exteriors of this laptop because, as you know, this one is a 13 inch. So it's a very, very small laptop. And so it's very portable. It's very, so it's pretty much light. And when you talk about the LG right here, you can see there is a little bit bigger and actually it is not, it is not that big if you compare it to this MacBook, but this one, it is 16 inches. So, so talking about the design, both are just unibody design. So they are just made from uh, one piece pretty much. And this one, it is like uh, magnesium and alloy. So it's a very light material. In fact, this one, it is like a little more than a kilo. So when you take it in your hands, it is very, very light actually. And it is lighter than the MacBook. So this thing actually causes like a little bit of a, a quality loss, we can say, because if you, if you can see right here, I can bend this laptop with my hands. I mean, it is pretty, it is pretty safe because it's built very well, but you can bend it actually with your hand. So it is very light, but it is, it kind of feels like a cheap laptop 
when it is not, of course. Then talking about the MacBook, of course, it it's full aluminum. It is a little bit heavier, but uh, not that much because it's actually a smaller factor. So you can see it right here that it is like a little bit smaller than the 16 inches LG, but it is of course built uh, very well. This one, it doesn't flex any anywhere. I mean, it's just a piece of steel, like <laughs> you cannot flex this one in any way. I mean, it's, it's very, very hard. Then talking about the port on the MacBook, we have only these two USB-C that are Thunderbolt 4. And on the other way, we got only the headphone jack, of course. And then that's it pretty much. Talking about the LG Gram, we have a full HDMI port right here. We have two USB-C, also Thunderbolt, and an headphone jack right here. And on the other side, we have two full USB-A and a micro SD port. Very useful set of port for those who don't need like uh, dongles actually. <laughs> but let's open up these laptops and Let's see how they are inside. Of course, they both open with one hand and they have both like a fingerprint scanner on the power button. So this is a very useful thing when you open up your computer. And then you can see that on the LG, there is like a little bit more of screen estate, of course, because it is 16 inches, but they have the same resolution. So 2K panel for those two laptops. And actually, you can see also that on the LG, the panel are just like uh, looking more modern, we can say. But on the MacBook, we have this old bezel, old and big bezel that are not my favorite, of course. And then also for the displays, these are both like very good displays because they are just calibrated or also for photo and video editing. So if you're gonna work on creative stuff on both of this laptop, you're gonna be good anyway. You can see also the differences between the screens because here you can see my reflection on the screen and here you can see it, but it's a lot less. So they are both like glossy finish on the displays, but on the MacBook, you can see that there are a little bit less uh, reflections and this is a very good thing when you go outside they are set at both at the maximum of the brightness of course then let's talk about the second thing that you can see on a laptop when you open it and so the keyboard and trackpad so the keyboard are very different in both of these two laptops and actually here we have like a more of a mechanical feel of a keyboard and the key travel is a little bit longer but it feels very very good so you can type very well right here on this one, we have the Magic Keyboard that pretty much, if you have used the latest MacBook, you know how it is and it feels very, very good. Here we have a full size keyboard. You can see the numpad right here. Here we have like the normal size keyboard. And one thing that I can complain on this LG laptop is the position of this U right here that is in between the backspace and the enter. I don't know why is that because it is not very comfortable in this position, but it is like that. And so we're going to keep it like that. So you have to just get used to this keyboard because it is just a little bit moved on the left side, we can say. So if you are just using your laptop and the trackpad both together, so you have to move your hands like a little bit on the left. Then with your MacBook, it is pretty much all centered. So you're not going to have this problem pretty much. Then let's hear how the speaker sounds on both of these laptops. And I don't know if you can hear it very well from my microphone, but I will try to do a speaker test. So let me know down below in the comments who is better, the MacBook or the LG Gram. So let's go first with the MacBook. And then we go with the LG Gram. So let me know down below, as I said before, who is the best one between these two. I think from my opinion, the MacBook Pro, it is a little bit louder than the LG Gram because mostly it has the speakers right here and the LG Gram it has the speaker like below the laptop and they are firing like under the surface that if it is like an art surface, you're gonna have like a, the best sound. But if the surface is gonna be like soft, you're not gonna have like a nice sound. 
So this is the video test from the webcam of the MacBook Pro and also I am using the internal microphone. And so this is a test from the LG webcam and also I am using the internal microphone on this laptop. Let me know down below what you prefer between this one and the MacBook. But then let's talk about the performance and as you could see on the LG I've just opened the LG control center because from here I can just select the performance of the laptop and if I'm clicking here on performance the laptop is gonna perform like if it is connected to a power outlet so I'm gonna select this mode for for all of these tests because like this we're gonna compare both of this performance in an equal way we can say so this of course it means that uh, it's gonna consume more battery and of course it's gonna do more noise because the fan is gonna kick in very very soon.